What's up everybody, Drew Prindle here from Digital Trends. We are here on the show floor at CES 2019 checking out the Bell Nexus. I am here with Chad Stecker of Bell. Chad, what can you tell us about this crazy flying car thing behind us? It's exciting, isn't it? It's absolutely well, exciting. this is our answer for urban air mobility. This is the Bell Nexus. So this is drawing upon the strong lineage that we have with tilt rotor technology and looking at different configurations, right? So we normally see VTOL aircraft in an open rotor or a tilt rotor configuration. Uh, what you'll see here is a six ducted fan configuration, uh, which helps with safety, noise, many other factors, approachability. Um, so what you'll see here is a four passenger plus a pilot configuration. This is a concept vehicle, but we're actually act actively developing the prototype aircraft right now. So from what I understand, I mean, you mentioned that there's going to be a pilot in there, but from what I understand, it seems like you're actually moving toward a, a setup where there actually doesn't need to be a trained pilot in the craft. Is that is that correct? Correct. And actually, our prototype aircraft will be will be fully autonomous as well. So, can you tell me a little bit more about what you've got here to show off that uh, kind of the path toward that? Uh, that autonomous future that you're thinking about? Yeah, so we have the technology today, and like I said, we have the prototype aircraft, which will be fully autonomous. Uh, we believe that just due to customer uh, acceptance and perception of the aircraft in autonomy, that the early air adoption of that will have to have a pilot interface, but we're working the, the, the path to a fully autonomous aircraft. Um, also, other key features of the aircraft is we have a hybrid propulsion system provided by our, our partners with Safran. So you'll have a turbo shaft engine that powers a generator, which provides high voltage power out to electric motors in the ducts themselves. So is this going to be something that eventually is going to be simple enough that people without pilot licenses are going to be able to fly? So they actually won't fly the aircraft itself, it'll be an autonomous aircraft, right? So it'll be a connected version to a system. Right, so you'll go point to point, you'll be able to load the aircraft at a vertiport or other site and fly to your point where you need to be. Um, a lot of that is, uh, is, is the connectivity through the system and uh, the, autonomous, the autonomy of the aircraft itself. Um, so what we're doing is trying to greatly simplify air travel and bring it accessible to common general public like you and I. So this is a prototype behind us. How long until we get the real thing? So we're targeting mid-2020s for a certified air vehicle, so we're looking at 2025. We'll have the prototype flying before that. While we're not getting into specific timelines around that, uh, we'll have it flying well beyond 2025. So there you have it. Just wait a few more years. Sometime in the mid-2020s, we might have flying cars that take us where we want to go.